Back in 2022, I made a video instructing you how to establish an SSH connection into your Raspberry Pi from your MacBook's terminal. Well, in the ensuing years, or years, however you wish to pronounce that word, the process have changed slightly. I'm making this video on March 20th, 2025, the first day of spring. The latest Raspberry Pi operating system is Debian 12.10, also known as Bookworm, kernel version 6.6, .6, obviously being that I'm on a Raspberry Pi 4B, I have an ARM 64-bit operating system. So let's go through this process for the current generation. I am currently remote desktoping into my Raspberry Pi from my MacBook only because it's easier to record a video and the quality is better on my Mac. So open the terminal and issue the sudo raspberry config command and that will bring up the Raspberry Pi configuration. Navigate to interface option. Select SSH. And of course here, if you want, I know I do, uh, to have this SSH option be enabled. Yes, and then finish. Now here you might want to you might want to uh, restart your Pi just to make sure that it takes effect. You're also going to want to get the IP address for your Raspberry Pi by running ifconfig. Grab the IP address that start with uh, 192.168. And then back in your MacBook's terminal, issue the command SSH and then the name of your Raspberry Pi user at the IP address, your local IP address for your Raspberry Pi. Now, if you're wondering why I am showing this 192.168 IP address in a public video, well, um, the World Wide Web cannot reach this IP address. This is internal only to me. Around the world, there are literally hundreds of millions, if not more, of this 192.168 is repeated over and over again. So uh, that's, this is totally fine. So in a perfect world, when you press enter, the prompt will ask you for your password and then you'll be on your happy, merry way. But several things can go wrong here and I'll, sh and I'll show you how to handle that. You might find yourself encountering this error message once you press enter when you log in to your, your Pi remotely, as you can see here. Now, that obviously is a screenshot. So then, if you have the latest or newer version of SHH installed on your Mac, then if you read through this, I know it's difficult to read, but just like take it one sentence at a time, it actually offers you a very helpful message. It says at the correct host key, yada, yada, yada. Now, typically this happens because you might have um, used different, like an older Pi, Raspberry Pi in the past, and you've recently purchased uh, a Raspberry Pi 5. Great on you if, you if you have that opportunity. I don't have one yet. But then, and, and then you have different images on your, on your MacBook. Um, that's why you are seeing this, okay? Or if you switch Macs or um, you install multiple operating system on your Pis or what have you. And then uh, it tells you what to do in this message if you read it carefully. So then what you need to do is to delete the, uh, the old Raspberry Pi uh, key. So then you would issue the command SSH dash keygen dash capital R and the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. This will just automatically this will delete the old key and then it will run the SSH command and it to connect and it will automatically generate a new key pair for you. And when 
this command is executed, you will simply SSH into your Pi again. And then you would answer yes here, and then you will enter your credentials, as you can see by this screenshot. And then as you can see here, I've logged into my Raspberry Pi from my Max terminal, and then I have full access to my Raspberry Pi for programming. Obviously, this is the use case scenario when you do not, when your Raspberry Pi does not have um, a monitor nor keyboard. And so from here, you can do whatever work you want. Let's just check to make sure that we have the right version of Golang. There you go. OK, hopefully that was helpful. Please share this video with people who are struggling with this. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing to my channel. It doesn't cost you anything, obviously. Um, I'll talk to you next time. Bye for now.